Today is a big, big day. We're going on a plane for the first time in over a year. We're excited. You're also really nervous. It's Very. been so long. I don't know if I remember how to fly. I know. You mentioned the liquid bag earlier and I was like, oh my. Right. <laughs> right. We have liquid bags when we travel on planes. It's been a while, you guys. So our bag is pretty much all packed and ready to go. Hopefully we didn't forget anything. I really feel like I don't remember how to properly pack or like where things should go anymore. <laughs> anyway, if you just happen to tune in because you're really curious about flying right now and you don't know who we are, my name is Anna. This is Trevor behind the camera. We are the Delightful Travelers. Going back a little bit, we actually got stuck in the Philippines when the pandemic first happened. We were there for four months and we flew home to Nova Scotia from there. That was the last time we flew. So we've been home in Nova Scotia for over a year now. This is our first flight. So if you are new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button for lots more travel videos. Also hit the like, that really helps with the video. So the plan is today we're gonna share one checked bag. It's a short trip, I think we can pull it off. Yeah, we're only going for like six days. I know some people would probably pack a huge suitcase for that. We're pretty good at this point of packing light. This is a carry-on size, but we are gonna check it just because the airline weird rules, <laughs> basically. But yeah, this is what we've got. So we are flying today uh, within Canada. We're not leaving the country, but we had some plans kind of fall through and last minute we decided to go on a little trip now that things are a little more open here between provinces. We're very excited to show you guys where we are going. We'll tell you a little later in the video. We're outside. I think we have everything. Our taxi is waiting for us to go to the airport. I can't, I think the word is I'm discombobulated right now. I just feel all, my brain's all over the place. It's pouring outside, but our ride's over there. So I'm gonna put the camera away till we're in the car. All right, we stepped inside to the airport terminal for the first time in a very, very long time. Very, very long time. There are more cars parked here than I uh, would have thought, mm -hmm. but there's not a lot of people it's so a few far. Though. I see a few lined up, so more yeah, than I expected. More than I expected. We'll try to get some shots of it. So this is our very first time ever flying with Flair Airlines. I think they're maybe somewhat newish, sort of newish within the last couple of years anyway. They're like a low-cost carrier, so. Hopefully it goes okay. We're used to traveling like Air Canada, WestJet, that type of thing. So. To be honest though, we need these in Canada. Yeah, we do. <laughs> the cost of flying across Canada, if you're not from here, it's so expensive. All right, it's a self-check-in here with yeah, the... Yeah, I've never done one. You no. Drop your own bag before. Oh, screening area is screening blocked. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> Anna, what did you do? I don't know. <laughs> there it goes. Hopefully, Bye, we'll, hopefully we'll see you in Montreal. So I think we said earlier, we don't normally check bags. Um, we we are to today. Do, yeah, just we try to do carry-on only as much as possible. We usually both have a backpack yep. and a carry-on if we're <laughs> traveling for months at a time. And when we can, we'll bring them on board with us. But yep. lately we find most airlines are getting very picky about what you bring on board. So we yep. would check when we have to. Especially given it's you know it's a low-cost carrier. It just made sense. We didn't want to get charged when we got here as well, just in case it was, you know, it was always upgrades. Always more expensive <laughs> to pay at the airport with these airlines. So something you might not know about the Halifax International Airport is you can get some lobsters and take them with you on the plane, on carry-on. I wonder how many other places in the world you can do that. We're just getting close to uh, security now, so we're obviously not going to film that. We're going to put the camera away and we'll pick you guys up when we get to the other side. Can you believe we're going through security okay. again? This is all so, all so very strange. So we just made it through security. It went very well, very efficient. It was basically the same as it always has been. No really extra things. One thing I will say about Halifax Airport is that the security people are always super nice and friendly. Go figure. Look at that anyway, though. Look, there's <laughs> a plane behind us. It's not the plane we're taking, but it's just so weird to be up here, <laughs> see an actual plane in real life. It's but, crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. <laughs> So the airport is a lot different than I remember. So right now we're walking um, around, actually trying to get the lay of the land because things have changed so much. Yeah, a lot, <laughs> a lot is closed, a lot is still open. I'm surprised we'll get to that in a bit. Yeah. I think they've also completed some renovations that were happening last year, so. Yeah, so what we're gonna do right now is either look for where our gate is going to be or 
get some food or have a drink. Yeah. So we have come to, I think, the only place that you can sit down, get some food, get a drink. We did get a, uh, a local beer, actually, which I was surprised about. A Nine Locks Dirty Blonde. Often at airports, it's just like domestic type beer. So I'm, I'm happily surprised about that. Um, it is one of the only places that is open at the moment. I know, um, I think Starbucks is closed, Tim Hortons is closed, Vino Volo, one of our favorite places to go at the airport is also closed. I think there might be a coffee shop and a couple other things that are open. So this place is called the Furkin and Flyer. And the last time we were here was when we were heading over to the Philippines. That is wild to think about. Now, when we were here, we met a Filipino. He was one of the servers and we chatted with him for a while. He was giving us recommendations. He was very excited that we're YouTubers and we we're going to film. And I was, I'm curious to this day, I wonder if he watched the whole thing unfold. He's not here today, but I wonder if he saw us stuck in the Philippines for four months. Oh, and if you're new here and you didn't know that happened, you can go back on the channel and see us stuck in the Philippines when COVID hit. So we are at our gate. I think our flight's gonna board in about 10 or 15 minutes. And I don't think we've actually said where we're going yet. I can't believe we haven't told you guys. You're probably on the edge of your seats. <laughs> <laughs> should we tell them or should we wait? Let's tell them. Let's tell them. Okay. We are headed to Montreal, a city we've been to before that we love, but it's been a few years, so we're really excited to get back to. All right, we are through and we are now on our way to the plane. This still feels surreal to me. There were quite a few people at the game, more than I thought yeah, for sure. The plane looks like. Very curious what the plane is going to look like, but there's a line. So we purposely booked the aisle and the window seat with the hope that nobody would book the middle seat. So far, we're good. Well, we checked in there. She told us it was empty, but you just never know when someone like Yeah, look, minute. as of right now, I mean, this is ours. Yes, but one thing we are going to do, and we've actually been doing this for years, is wipe down everything, especially now. It's like, you never know. So you guys can probably tell I switched over my mask to a medical mask. There's three layers of protection. Thought I'd do it for the flight. We're just getting ready to take off. I'm so excited. If you have not already done so, please fasten your seatbelt. To fasten it, insert the flat metal fitting into the buckle and pull on the strap to tighten around your hip. to Montreal, everybody. That was a smooth flight. It's only yeah, it's really easy. So fast. It's like an hour and ten minutes in the air. Yeah, very fast from Halifax. Right now we have to find yeah, our bag and there is a whole lot of people now. here. <laughs> Whoa. Know, this is way more people than I thought, huh? Yes. Well, this is definitely a first, first bag off the carousel and that's us. You don't see that too often. That never happens. <laughs> All right, we're outside. We're going to grab an Uber. We have about a 30 minute drive and head to our place. And once we get there, we'll give you guys a tour. All right, here we are. We're in our place. It's time to give you guys a tour. We really like it. We just got here. Yeah, we're staying in the, the plateau area for six days. We picked a really awesome apartment. I'm excited about it. Yeah, let's uh, do a tour. So we're staying in a studio apartment. Right here we have a nice dining room table. Over this way we have a seating area. If we take a look here, we have a giant television. We might have to use that. Check out the bed this way. And I think what the best thing about this place is we have a great view of something outside here. So you'll see off in the distance there, Mount Royal. We have a great view of that. The sun's hitting it right now. It's starting to go down. In this way, oh, we have some really awesome art. I love this. It's beautiful and huge. And on this side is a really great kitchen. Uh, there's a hidden dishwasher in here. Ooh. You gotta love that. Also, funny enough, this is the <laughs> same fridge we have at home and they also switched the uh, door opening what are just the, like we did. <laughs> what are the odds of that? To fix this meal. So at home. There's also one more thing over here. Yes, yeah, so we have a washer and dryer. That's awesome. And I guess closet space there. And then a really, really nice bathroom. Oh, wow. Isn't it beautiful? So I didn't even see this yet. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a full on rain shower. This is perfect. Yeah. Perfect, you guys. So I think one thing we maybe didn't mention today, and you might be wondering about, if you're flying domestically in Canada, so not coming from another country, 
coming into Quebec, you do not need a negative test in order to enter. They don't, no testing required. <laughs> no, and if you're going back to Nova Scotia, you don't need a test either, but you do need to be double vaccinated, and we yeah. are. And you also have to apply as well to go back to Nova Scotia. We'll probably go through that later. Yeah. We'll probably show that to you in another video. So we flew with Flair today. It's a newer airline, budget airline, and honestly, things uh, it was very smooth. Things couldn't have been smoother. Yeah, I was a little worried since we've never flown with them before if they're going to be one of those airlines that wants to weigh all your bags yeah. over and over again and make sure you're not taking too much stuff on they board didn't. and all that. They were really great. They were really friendly. Super they were friendly. Nice. You'd never know it yeah. was a budget airline. Now, there was no TVs, there's no plugs, there's no service because of COVID. Mm -hmm. uh, but it was a quick flight for us, only an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, it was super easy. So I hope you guys are as excited as we are. This is our first time traveling like this on a plane in over a year. This is what we used to do. If you just found mm -hmm. us in the last year, we used to travel around. Even though we're just in Canada right yeah. now, we will be traveling internationally eventually. But we have some things planned for here. There'll probably be, what, a few videos? Yeah, I think we'll do at least a couple of videos here. Probably some food, probably some exploring, and then yeah. maybe unless we're really tired of filming going home or like traveling or flying we'll probably do a video about going home and what's it like to get back into Wisconsin. yeah maybe, maybe what that maybe. process is like we'll see but there there's definitely some montreal videos coming up so if you're new around here trevor and a delightful travelers make sure to hit subscribe like the video share it leave us a comment let us know what you thought let us know if you guys have traveled yet very curious there's more people traveling yeah. than i thought yeah and it, by the way uh, if you had been following us on instagram today you would have seen our stories and known all along that we were in Montreal, so you would have known before, well, yep. before everybody watching this video right now. So get ready for a lot more videos coming up, and especially from right here in one of our favorite cities in Canada, Montreal. All right, guys, that's it. From Montreal, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.